Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathy Miller. How is everybody doing today? I am uh, pretty good. I'm a little nippy. I'm chilly here in Tennessee today. It's a little cold, but you know what? I'm just thankful I'm alive and I can bring this creation to your attention and maybe you'll try it and uh, we'll have a little fun. I have a 12 by 16 canvas here and I already have my base, which is Color Place from Walmart. There is no water, no silicone, no glue. It's antique white, parenthesis satin, but I believe they have changed the labeling because I don't think you can get that anymore. However, I bought like four gallons, so that's why I still have it. But anyways, another good base is Sherwin-Williams, color to go. Many different colors, they have white and they have black. So head on over to Sherwin-Williams also. So the colors I have here today, I have Golden Fluid by, and it's Cobalt Turquoise. This is Brilliant Purple by Liquitech Basics. This is Color Art Sapphire and Ice Primary Elements. This is Master Touch Olive Green with a hint of PBO Iridescent Green in it. This is Color Art Aubergine. Color Art Tiger Lily. This is Dioxazine Purple by Golden. Color Art Lime Sorbet. Amsterdam Sky Blue Light, Phalo Green by Amsterdam, and Decor 24 Karat Gold. And I'm going to do a little bit of drizzle in here. And um, I'm going to, I went into my stash and just pulled out some of the uh, Catalyst wedges. There's numerous sizes, designs well, you gotta, that you, gotta you can. Show, you got to show one. I believe okay. these are in my Amazon shop. So head out and get some of those. I spent many hours way back, way back in Menards and Home Depot and Lowe's and I have so many tools in my box. I should actually start using some of those because I use numerous ones on my acrylic paintings and they're, they give just beautiful texture and designs. So I might bring out some of my old stash and Phil can tell you I spent hours watching. So anyways, all these colors will be in the description box. And uh, Phil, take it away. <laughs> oh, put me on the spot. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Why not? Did I say this was a 12 by 16? I think yes, so. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay. Well, all these paints that Kathy is using today, and quite a few of them, all have the same pouring medium recipe. That's in video 478. There's a direct link to that recipe, secret recipe video. <laughs> in the description box. Not so much of a secret anymore. And but. it's a very, very simple recipe. Even I can do it uh, for her paints, her pigments, her cell activator, and a few other tips and tricks in that video. And uh, I've got some comments where they said, does Phil ever do any videos? We'd love to see him create. Phil has done videos and they are out there. Uh, he hasn't done one in quite a while. I mean, I just can't convince him to do one. I don't know why. Well, but... if they look under playlists, I think they'll find a playlist. I think I've done maybe Two three or, or three. four yeah, or, I don't uh, know. videos over the years. And that would be in that playlist. And and I think the best thing about <laughs> the videos, I have, uh, I tell some stories about how Kathy and I met, which is kind of a crazy story. And also a story about our first date, which was even crazier. Oh, so, my goodness. Um, if you want to find out a little bit about uh, how we managed to get together, check out the videos that I'm the star of. Oh, my goodness. Well, And I'm I, using star very loose, loosely. Well, I think our first date was just like a couple of weeks ago, right? <laughs> it seems that way. <laughs> seems Sometimes. like only yesterday. Yeah, I know, and a lot of people think that I pick on Phil. Oh, my goodness. Now, if anybody picks on anybody, Phil picks on me. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> we really don't pick on each other too much. We've been married way too long to do that. But, yeah, we have a lot of fun here. We hope you enjoy our videos. We enjoy doing these for you. Hope that you can learn a few things when I do my videos. And this is actually being a mishmash. If you're an old subscriber, you know I call this the mishmash. Well, you're doing the, the drizzle technique. Correct. But we're gonna 
just use some different tools today. And if you don't have any, I believe they're in my Amazon shop. So head on over there. And in the meantime, if you want to find some really nice uh, creations, head on over and join our Facebook group, Paint Point by Kathleen Miller, if you haven't joined that yet. And as long as you're there, subscribe to our channel, which is Paint Point by <laughs> Kathleen Miller. We made it easy to remember. Yeah. This is Aubergine from uh, Color Art Primary Elements. It's one of my all-time favorites. I use it quite a bit. It's a really pretty color. But yeah, head on over to that description box because you can save some money if you go to uh, Color Art. Use my coupon code Kathy Miller 520 It'll save you 20% on your entire order. And I use KS Resin. And if you're, um, that has a coupon code also, but if you can't uh, use resin, there is an alternative that I have used in the past. Not too often, but it does not smell. It's called Tri Art Liquid Glass. And it has uh, absolutely no smell. It gives your uh, paintings, it looks like glass. It's very, very nice. Um, I don't know if that's in our description box or our no. Amazon shop or not. I don't no. think so. But that's another alternative that you can use. It's called Tri Art Liquid Glass. And it gives a glass appearance. That's if you can't stand the smell of resin. But I, uh, I never have to wash my canvases because I don't use any silicone. No silicone in my paints. Ever. Ever. I might have tried that once or twice while washing the paint on the canvases. Oh, no. I said to Phil, no, that's just not for me. So I don't ever use any silicone. Well, and the main reason for that is uh, your recipe that you use, which is, in, as I said in video 478, creates the effects you want ex without use, having to use any resin. Right. Okay, last but not least is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. So this is the drizzle, which Kathy uses in some uh, different types of pours. And the object is to get all the different colors of the paints you're using. Uh, all over the canvas without any too much of any one color in any one area although she does have a few blobs of uh gold there which is which is fine yeah it's not gonna hurt anything no no does not hurt anything what do you this, got there these are my cell activators which is oxide black and australian flow troll that's all that's in there that's all that's in there right and kathy uses the amsterdam paints for the paint part of it, and you can uh, change the color of your cell activator simply by changing the color of the tube paint you use. Correct. You just don't have to use black. You can use white. You can use purple. You can use blues. You can use greens. You can use <laughs> any single color you want. You can get some really cool uh, um, effects using colored cell activator. Yeah. That's for sure. But I just, I really, I don't know. I'm just the black cell activator person. That's just my go-to. So, okay. Here we go. So I hope you're all having a good, fun day today. Uh, Phil and I are, even though it's cold. We we're gonna go out, but I don't know. I might have to stay home and make some coffee at home. Boo hoo! <laughs> it's not gonna taste like Starbucks, but at least I'll be warm. Maybe I'll talk Phil into making the coffee because he makes the coffee every night. So uh, maybe I'll go this way. No, I would do it this down. Yes. That, yeah. That's the way I did the last one, I think. I don't know. I do so many of these. That's true. I can't remember from day to day, Phil. I'm lucky I remember my name. Well, the only reason I, I mentioned that is 
when you do swiping, you've got, you have to be careful about how far you want to take your swipe because you can run out of cell activator if you try to swipe too long of, a, uh, of an area. As you can see, Kathy's swipe with her cell activator has created fabulous cells, all different colors, which is exactly what the drizzle technique will do for you. Ah. Kathy does have a Facebook group. I think she mentioned that already, but I want to mention that you can post your own creations in that group, which is really cool. Make comments, ask questions. It's a wonderful group. We keep it very safe for everybody. It's a wonderful group, especially for beginners. There's a direct link. You become a member of Kathy's Facebook group in the description box. I go take a look at that group every day and I, I'm amazed at the wonderful creations and the techniques that artists are using out there in the pore painting world. World, yes. And they're just not from, you know, like the United States. They're from all over. Oh, well, you have. I mean, just all over. <laughs> Members literally all over the world. Mm -hmm. I get invited to so many places. Phil and I, if we went to all the places that we have been invited to, we'd never be home. <laughs> we would never be doing any of these paintings. And I just want to thank everybody for inviting us. I mean, we truly, truly just love all of you and uh, think the world of you. Yes, and we love that the participation that they partake in in uh, the group very helpful it is it really is it's amazing I mean if everybody if you have a question just ask because people are afraid to ask questions there is no dumb question everybody has to start somewhere yes so, I mean, don't be afraid to ask questions. And of course, Kathy does have her YouTube channel, which this video is posted to. Uh, that channel has over 700 videos that Kathy has done over the years of all different types of techniques. There's a direct link in the description box to subscribe to Kathy's YouTube channel. It's free. Also, there's some I nice discount codes you can take advantage of in that box. I do not want to do that. Uh, well, that could... It'll spin off. I'm not worried. I should have put it that way, and then I wouldn't have done that, because that annoys me when I do that. But <laughs> when I spin it, it'll go to the end. It's like, ah! Well... What is going on here? This wonderful cell activity. The colors are beautiful. Beautiful colorations. Beauteous. Okay, I'm just going to blow that a little bit and come up. I want to get in this. Yeah, he uses a flexible straw to blow on top of some of the excess cell activator. It helps to bring the colors that are stuck underneath it to the surface. She's doing a little bit of, I guess I'd call repairing to an area that she's not happy with. No, it kind of ticked me off. Oh, these colors are so pretty. Yes. This is absolutely beautiful, the base that you've created. Can I spin it a little bit? I 
As you can see, you do not have to spin real fast to accomplish. Okay, now. And what Kathy is trying to accomplish is expanding the cells. As you can see, the cells have grown. Can't tell I made nope. a boo-boo, Phil. That's true. Can't tell. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to spin it anymore. I don't think it needs it. It's beautiful. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to take my catalyst wedge. What number do I have here? Oh, this is number two. There's two of us. So there we go. Is number two. Okay. Now they have different, uh, the numbers represent oh, like yeah. different sizes teeth. of teeth or something and yeah. spacing. This is four. Oh, let's see. Okay, that's a four. Okay. This is a three, and you can oh, see yeah, these are can see turned. That. Yes. Those. More okay, like so blue. we have. Okay. And number two is the bottom. So you have like a shark's teeth. Okay. Then you have like the. A little more rounded teeth, and then. Then some you more... have like square teeth. There we go. Okay. So if you need braces, <laughs> you want to put those on there. <laughs> and then we have this little baby one, and this is a C24. Okay. And that is like a little right. groovy thing. And they too. all give different uh, enhancements. Patterns. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here we go, Phil. All right. Oh, wow. Cool. It's very pretty. Very neat. Very pretty. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, I love how that uh, gives you sort of a twisty composition. It's really pretty. Yes. Make sure you wipe it off, though. <laughs> oh, wipe off your tool after every swipe. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Walla. Yeah, it is so cool. Wow. You have this fabulous base here with all the different colorations. And then just like the wispies or whatever coming up. That it's is so neat. Really, really pretty. I, I love the stained glass effect with this. It, yeah, it is it's really neat. It's just so, so pretty. You got a nice bold colorful bottom to yeah, the composition. Yeah, it's like your stems are coming yes. up into your flowers. Yes, they're growing out of a wonderfully beautiful it's really, base. really pretty. Super. Well, everybody, you know, it's your creation. You can do what you want, and it's fun. Just go pick up some of these catalyst wedges. Uh, there's many different styles. I have probably about eight of them. I only pulled four out and I have other uh, things that I use, but um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join our family and uh, share it with your friends. 
And with that said, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Stay warm. If it's cold where you're at, if it's warm where you're at, send some of that warmth to us because I'm a little chilly. And uh, we love all of you, and I'll see you later, alligators. Bye. Got to take a look at this. Wow.